In the race to find a vaccine for COVID-19, China is cutting the red tape for approval procedures and offering some big companies financial support. Our Eunice Yoon has more on that today. Hi, Eunice. Hi, Carl. Well, three Chinese vaccines are currently in clinical trials here in China, and one of them is being tested right here in this lab. I'm at Beijing-based Sinovac, and the company's chairman earlier told me that uh, the government support has helped tremendously. Chinese businessman Yin Wei Dong is at the forefront of the fight against the global pandemic. This week, his company, Nasdaq-listed Sinovac, got approval from China to start clinical trials for its coronavirus vaccine. A vaccine shouldn't be for a certain country or area, he says. It should be for the globe. His team is using an older method to develop the vaccine than other companies, but that he thinks is safer. Called an inactivated vaccine, it uses a virus killed by chemicals. The vaccine is being tested at this lab and will be checked again before going into clinical trials. The company says that 100 volunteers are being recruited for the first phase and that doses of various sizes are being prepared. Yin is targeting to finish trials for safety and efficacy in June and then test the vaccine in infected areas in China or overseas. That's faster than normal, he says. And he said that the, the company wouldn't have been able to move so quickly without the government's help. In fact, uh, for example, uh, China's version of the FDA approved the human clinical trials in one month as opposed to six months. And he also said that the authorities here have allocated land and facilities so that companies can ramp up production. He said that he thinks that he'd be able to ramp up his own manufacturing in three months. And his goal is to produce, uh, is to produce uh, several millions of uh, doses um, every single year. Of course, he didn't commit, though, as to exactly when that vaccine would be available.